This is an interesting problem and I am going to solve it in two ways. First, I am going to solve it in a regular way wherein I define a system comprising of the beam AC along with the pulley mounted at B and next I will share with you some tricks and techniques by which you can simplify the solution and the simplification involves removing the pulley but nevertheless taking care of the cable tension forces getting transferred to the beam appropriately. So, first let us talk about the regular way of solving the problem. So, let us see what all data has been given in the problem. The beam is 1.5 meters long and at point A we have a roller support and at the end C we have a pin support. This pulley is of radius 0.25 meters and it supports a weight of 500 Newton. The other end of the cable is connected to the wall here, the wall here. The beam weighs 200 Newtons and the pulley also weighs 50 Newtons and we have to find the reaction forces at the pin support C. So, the first step as you are aware is to draw a free body diagram and our free body diagram would be for the beam AC along with the pulley and therefore, we will isolate the system from the cables by cutting the cable at this point here and this point here and expose the cable tension forces. This is a pin support therefore, there will be two components of a reaction force and this is a roller support therefore, the reaction force will be only in the vertical direction. Here is the free body diagram. At the roller support we just have one single force in vertical direction. At C we have two components of this reaction force. The cable makes contact with the pulley between this point and this point and therefore, when we cut the cable the tension forces would get exposed and this tension force is T in this direction and its point of application is P and at this end the cable leaves the pulley at this point and therefore, the force acting at this point will be in vertically downward direction. So, this is 500 Newton is the tension force in the cable, 500 Newton force is the tension in the cable here shown here. We know the direction of this force. This 200 Newton force is the weight of the beam which acts at the center point of AC. Therefore, this distance will be 0 0.75 meters and for the sake of clarity let us write it here. This is W beam and 50 Newton is the weight of the pulley. So, let us write W P. So, these are all the forces acting. How many unknowns are there? There are three unknowns 1, 2 and 3. So, this is a 2D structure and we have three equilibrium equations and we have three unknowns we can solve it. Let us find out the magnitude of T x and T y the horizontal and vertical component of this tension force. We know the slope 3 upon 4. So, this side of the triangle would be 5 and therefore, T x would be 500 times 3 upon sorry 4 upon 5 which will work out to 400 Newtons and likewise T y would be equal to 3 upon 5 times 500. So, it will be 300 Newtons and now we write the equation summation of the force components in x direction would give us C x minus T x there is no other force in x direction and this will be equal to 0. So, C x would be equal to T x and that will be equal to 400 Newtons. The second equation is sigma F y equal to 0. So, we sum the forces in y direction. So, here is A y acting in positive y direction. So, A y plus C y plus T y minus 200 minus 50 and minus 500 equal to 0. So, A y 
plus C Y will work out to 450 newtons. We will leave this as it is and we will write the third equation which is the moment equation. But before that let us find out the distance B Q and P Q. We need to find the distances B Q and P Q because we will need these distances in computing the moments of the forces T x and T y. Now, let us extend this line B p like this. What is the slope of this line? The slope of this line would be 4 upon 3. Why? Because this line is perpendicular to this line. Well, this is tangent and this is extension of the radius vector. Since the slope of this line is 3 upon 4, the slope of this line would be 4 upon 3 and therefore BQ would be 3 upon 5 of the radius and the radius is 0 0.25. So, BQ would be 0 0.25 times 3 upon 5 which is 0 0.15. So, BQ is 0 0.15 and PQ is BP that is 0 0.25 times 4 upon 5. So, that will work out to 0 0.20 meters. Now, we can write the moment equation about point C and we choose point C because we will be able to eliminate two unknowns. So, sigma MC equal to 0 and the sign convention is all counterclockwise moments shall be positive. Ay will produce a clockwise moment, therefore it will be negative and the moment arm for Ay will be the length AC and that is equal to 1.5 meters. This force acts at the center of the beam and therefore the moment would be 200 times 0 0.75 and it will be positive because it produces a counterclockwise moment. This force 50 newtons is at a distance of 0 0.5 meters and it will produce a counterclockwise moment about point C and therefore we have this term 50 times 0 0.5. This force will also produce a counterclockwise moment and the moment arm is 0 0.25. Here is Tx and this will also produce a counterclockwise moment about C and the moment arm for this would be PQ and PQ is 0 0.20 meter. So, we have this term 400 times 0 0.2. The component TY will produce a clockwise moment and, and the component TY has a moment arm of QC and QC is QC is BC minus BQ. BC minus BQ and that is 0 0.5 minus BQ is 0 0.15 and therefore QC would be 0 0.35 meters. So, this will simplify to this equation and we will get AY equal to 183.3 newtons and now we plug in this value in this equation and we will get the value of C y like this. So, now we have C y and C x of 400 newtons. So, we can compute C which is the square root of the x component is square and the y component is square and this will work out to 480.75 newtons and it makes an angle of theta with the x axis equal to 33.7 degrees. So, the actual reaction force at C is something like that of magnitude 480.75 newtons making an angle of 33.7 degrees. In order to simplify our solution, there is a trick that we can employ and that trick is relating to removal of this pulley from the beam and since the cable which is in contact with the pulley here 
it exerts a force on the pulley in this direction so we need to transfer this force to the center of the pulley acting on the beam we will discuss that in the next slide now we are going to solve this problem little differently our system will not include this pulley anymore and it will consist of just this beam so the fbd that you see here is the same which we used in the previous slide and this fbd will now have to be modified because the forces exerted by the pulley onto the beam will now become external to the system and will have to be clearly shown in the fbd so when we remove the pulley we have to take care of the impact of these tension forces onto the onto the beam here let's take a look at a simple example here in this picture you see a a pulley attached to one end of a beam and a cable runs over the pulley and it is taut under the tension t perhaps at this end there is a weight connected and is being pulled by application of a force in this direction whatever the system is in equilibrium and the pin at the center of the pulley is attached to the beam on which the pulley can rotate our aim is to remove the pulley and transfer the forces the cable tension forces acting along the rim of the pulley to the central pin now this this point a which is at the center is not on the line of action of this force or it's not on the line of action of this force so when we shift this force t to this point we'll have to do two things number 1 keep the direction of this force same as the original and at the same time add a couple the moment of which would be equal to the moment of this tension force about this point so when we shift this force so that its point of application becomes a it will look like this it will be t direction will be the same as this and we'll have to add a moment let's call it m1 and that will be equal to t times r where r is the radius of this pulley moment of this force about this point the center point is t times r and that will be in counter clockwise direction similarly when we shift this force t to the center point it will be acting vertically downwards and we'll have to add a couple the moment of which will be equal to t times r we call it m2 and this will be in clockwise direction now these two moments have equal magnitude and opposite sense so they will cancel out so what we shall be left with is just a set of these two forces which have the same magnitude as the original same direction as the original but their point of application has been shifted to the central pin at a and that is what has been shown in the picture at the right so these two systems are equivalent so whenever you want to shift the cable tension forces which are acting along the tangent to the pulley both of them can be shifted to the center point keeping their magnitude and direction same in short when you want to remove the pulley apply at a that is a central pin two forces equal and parallel to the forces that the cable exerts on the pulley so this is a simple technique by which you can transfer the forces acting on the rim of the pulley to the central pin and now having understood this point let us get back to our original problem so based on whatever we learned just now we'll modify our free body diagram and when we remove this pulley we shift this force which is acting at point p to the central pin at b keeping its direction same as before 
So, this force, this tension force will now act at point B, which is the center of the pulley. Similarly, this tension force which acts along the rim of the pulley will now be shifted to the center point and we already had the weight of the pulley acting at this point. So, this will get added. So, this is the weight of the pulley and this is the cable tension force T which is now acting at point B. So, as you can see both these tension forces are now acting at the center point. So, you can make out that this free body diagram looks much simpler. Now, you may ask a question, what is the purpose in doing all that? Well, the idea is that we want to save time in calculations. We, we want to save time in calculating the distances BQ and PQ because now we know the coordinates of this point and it will be convenient to take moments of these two tension forces about point C. So, that is the idea to save your calculation time and make things easier. So, this equation sigma f x equal to 0 remains the same because the forces are same only their point of application has changed. So, there is no change in this equation. Neither this equation sigma f y equal to 0 has undergone any change both of them remain the same. The only change has come about in the moment equation and as you can see the horizontal component of this tension force will pass through C and will not contribute to the moment. Only the vertical component which is 300 Newtons will have a clockwise moment about C and the moment arm for that will now be 0 0.5 meters. So, that is this term and this tension force will produce a counterclockwise moment and that is this term. The remaining terms are identical to what we had in the earlier part. So, this will give us the same result A y equal to 183.3 Newtons. So, you can see that the calculations have become much simpler we can get the value of Cy from this equation which turns out to be 266.7 Newtons. We already know Cx equal to 400 Newtons. So, we can calculate C 480.75 Newtons making an angle of 33.7 degree. So, we get the same answer as before, but now the calculation this calculation becomes much easier. Well, this technique of transferring the cable tension forces acting at, at the rim of a pulley to its pin is not specific to this problem and you can use this conveniently in any other problem that you come across. I hope you would find the technique that we discussed in the second part useful. Please let me know what you think about this technique by giving your comments below. If you have any other question please leave them in the comment section below and if you like the video please give a like and share it with your friends and if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe to the channel thanks for watching thank you